there is a new structure of the design office uh, in Scuderia Ferrari. Can you tell us uh, more about it? Um, yeah, middle of last year, uh, we, we changed the way we operate slightly. Um, we've now got two deputy chief designers. One is con or has been concentrating on the 2013 car, and the others obviously been concentrating on the, the 2014 car. Um, you know, there are quite some big changes coming through. Um, and it's a, it's a better way for us to organise ourselves and, and do a better job of you know, two concurrent car projects. How much important is the heritage of the F2012 on uh, this year's uh, project? Um, yeah, I mean, I think this year's car is more of, a, you know, more of an evolution than a, a revolution. Um, it's, you know, it, it's based on similar concepts um, and, you know, all the little areas of performance that we, uh, we we can gain, we've been after. So I mean, most of the car has changed subtly, um, you know, some bits more than others. Um, but it, it's a you know, it's a development of, of last year's really. The fact that Ferrari fought until the very end uh, for both championships did has had an impact on the design of the car in terms of performance. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think all the top teams are going to say it's, it has to have had a, an impact. Um, I think we were helped to some degree by the changes we made in the way we organised the design office so that we were uh, in a better position to you know, keep pushing on last year's car and you know, still you know, be in reasonable shape for developing this year's one. Um, you know, the, the biggest thing, I suppose, is the, the aerodynamic side of things. Um, you know, we started, you know, two or three months later than would be typical, I suppose, and we've got a, you know, a lot of catching up to do. Um, you know, you'll see quite a lot of changes between, um, you know, the launch car. Um, we'll have a few different parts for the, the second test and then another big upgrade um, for, the, for the, the third and final test. So, you know, there'll, there'll be lots of changes coming through. And the fact that the 2014's car will be so much different from this year's, will have an impact as well on, develop, on the development of this year's car? Um, I mean, it is quite different, um, I suppose, you know, aerodynamically, um, you know, the, the exhaust effect is changed with a, the, you know, the turbo and exhaust positions moving, the front wing uh, development's different, and then I suppose the rear wing is the other biggest change. Um, that will mean that a lot of things um, that we develop this year will not carry over. So it will put um, you know, a reasonable uh, workload on you know, aero departments, you know, design department as well. I say the, you know, the design office side of things, uh, we've got reasonably under control, I would think, with the, the, the changes we made to the structure. Um, that's working very, very well with the, you know, the, the engine or I suppose the, whatever it is these days, the power unit team um, you know, but, I mean, but there's, there's a huge amount to do on both car projects and we need to start the, the 2014 early to make sure we're, we're in a good position. We've seen last year that even with uh, a car which was not uh, the top uh, we were able to fight uh, thanks to reliability and also uh, team performance uh, uh, at the track. How much attention has been given uh, during winter time to the air, those areas even in order to find some performance? Um, I mean, in reality, you have to go after every last little bit of performance. So um, we've obviously been reviewing, you know, all the, you know, look back through the races, what we got right, what we got wrong, you know, the good strategy calls, the bad calls, we, you know, we need to learn from those. Uh, we're obviously, you know, trying to improve our pit stops further. We've made some changes there. Um, you know, hopefully we'll be able to take another couple of tenths off the, the pit stop time. I mean, we were, I think on average, we were, you know, we were quite consistent on average, the best last year. Um, but you can't stand still, otherwise you'll be behind. So, you know, we need to catch up with the, the people that were ultimately quicker, but more, had more scatter in their pit stops. So, you know, we, you have to go after every last little bit of performance um, these days. You know, right, reliability, um, you know, touch wood. Um, yeah, we were lucky for most of last year. Um, but you sort of make your own luck, you know, it's your attention to detail and every little bit of work's done back here. You know, again, we just need to, you know, work to the same or better standard than we had last year. Ferrari is undergoing a through a uh, big change 
in uh, the way, especially in the way of working. Where we are and what are the next steps? Um, I mean, I think in the, in the last you know, sort of year and a half or two years, we have um, you know, changed quite a lot of the way we work, um, you know, the organisation, the methodologies we use. Um, you know, we're part way through a, a long process, to be honest. I mean, I'm, I'm pleased with the process or the, the progress that we've made, um, but for me, it can never be quick enough. So, you know, I think we've still got you know, quite a lot to do to improve, um, and we just need to try and deliver that as quickly as we can. Looking at the car today, are you happy with it? Um, I'm never going to be happy until you know, you're in Melbourne and you've got the, clearly the quickest car. Um, I mean, I think in terms of the launch car, I think you know, we've, we've done a, a good job on the, you know, the, the mechanical installation, the design of it. You know, it's, you know, we've hit all our stiffness targets, we've saved a lot of weight. Um, you know, we can't hide behind the fact that you know, the, the car in its launch form I mean, aerodynamically is you know, a long way off where we are in the wind tunnel now. Um, you know, so you know, I think we'll get an idea of what our ultimate performance is uh, come you know, the third test. But you know, I'm not going to be happy until we're, we're clearly quickest.